I thought you said that there were FBI agents in the crowd at J6. There are. There always are when there's a big protest in D.C. Just in case it gets out of hand like that. They, but what, there, they wasn't, didn't there wasn't anything. enough to turn that tide. I mean, I'm talking they maybe have it 20. You needed a thousand to get rid of that crowd. So they had like, tw oh, that was a, just 20? Yeah, just to go through and there and see what they can hear, you know, that kind of thing. Wow. That, yeah, definitely. They needed a thousand at least. Well, wow. see, that's also Capitol Police jurisdiction. They're in charge. So that, Why yeah. they didn't have more on hand, I don't know. The Bureau didn't really want people knowing that they were in the crowd. Because mm -hmm. that would be overstepping their bounds. A little bit. Do people know that? Did, Why? Did people know that the Bureau was in the crowd? No, nope, and probably never will. Uh, you know agents that were there? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. They're the agency now. <laughs> Wow. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Put up the picture for a mass here. I mean, the breakfast cannot be that damn good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, let me try to make some sense of this. So uh, in this new video recorded uh, by an undercover journalist uh, <laughs> from Sound Investigations, Gavin Oblinis, a contracting officer with the Central Intelligence Agency, claimed the Federal Bureau of Investigation agents were present during the storming of the United States Capitol, January 6, 2021. The government officer was secretly recorded telling the undercover journalist that approximately 20 undercover FBI agents were located throughout the crowd during the January 6th protest on the Capitol. Asked to confirm whether FBI agents were in the crowd on January 6th, he told the undercover journalist, quote, there are, there always are when there's a big protest in DC, just in case it gets out of hand like that, which one would assume. Uh, that's the case, he confirmed it. The CIA contracting officer told the undercover journalist there were not enough FBI agents to turn that tide. On January 6th, since the FBI only had about 20 agents present at the time, he added, you need a thousand to get rid of that crowd. Uh, and then when he was posed a question, hey, do you know any of them? He said he did. I'll put up the FBI director, Christopher uh, Ray. And so real, real clear politics reported that FBI Director Ray previously told Congress that he was, quote, not sure there were undercover agents on the scene. That means yes, he's the guy in charge, he's the boss, right? So of course that means yes. Uh, here's the video. Things here, and and I, please don't, don't distract here because we're focusing on the, those who were there in an undercover capacity on January 6th, how many were there? Uh, again, I, I'm not sure that I can give you that number as I sit here. I'm not sure there were undercover agents uh, on scene. You, I'm, I find that kind of a remarkable statement, Director. At this point, you don't know whether there were undercover federal agents, FBI agents in the crowd or in the Capitol on January 6th. I I say that because I want to be very careful. There have been a number of court filings related to some of these topics, and I want to make sure that I stick with him what's in. I, I understand that. But I, I just, I thought I heard you say you didn't know whether there were FBI agents or informants or human sources in the Capitol or in the in vicinity on January 6th. Did I misunderstand you? I thought that's what you said. I, well, I referred very specifically to undercover agents. Yeah. And so are you acknowledging then there were undercover agents? I, I, as I sit here right now, I do not believe there were undercover agents uh, on scene. They're regular ass agents, regular ass FBI, not undercover. Maybe they didn't have on their full you know, uniform or their badge showing or their suit and whatever. Uh, but here's the thing, I believe that Christopher Ray, the director and others who have They've tried to kind of hide this dynamic associated with January 6th. It has allowed a false narrative to permeate from that moment where Trump supporters will say, oh goodness, it was the FBI who did all of it. Yes, it was actually the FBI instigated the whole thing. There are all FBI agents. It was thousands of FBI agents there. Okay, they're just not telling you the truth. Well, that, that's obviously completely untrue, right? But 
it lends credibility to the argument that something else is happening here. It was just an operation. It was a simple op. Uh, maybe telling the truth about the simple op and perhaps not revealing some of the methodology would actually allow the truth to prevail in a way that's difficult when you're hiding, clearly hiding information about what happened. All right, being just my thoughts, what say you? Yeah, I, I to my knowledge, if an agent is not wearing his uniform or having his badge exposed, that's an undercover agent. I don't think that right. that there's some big, big mystery to that, and it's just strange during a, a Senate hearing to not be able to admit that either he's woefully unaware of what's going on in his own agency, or he's covering something up for some weird reason, and that does raise red flags. Also, it just speaks to the greater issue of why there were not more agents there. I also don't know why you would need a thousand agents to deter a crowd. Agents have guns; they are allowed to draw them during, during uh, you know, dangerous situations. The Capitol's about to be breached. I think you draw your weapons and say, "Get back." Um, it's very strange. It's all a dereliction of duty, and it all came under the dereliction of duty of the president at the time, Donald Trump, who intentionally wanted to uh, make things as soft. Make it as soft a target as possible, make it as easy to enter as possible, and then proceeded to not even call these people off until he got his his uh, vigilante justice that he wanted for an election that he wow. fully lost. Yeah. So it's it's uh it's all just a real issue, if you know what I mean. Yeah, very much so. All right, so I think more is going to come out of this statement that was made by the CIA contractor.